Good morning children. Welcome back to our Google Classroom. We have completed our first two grammar portions, sentences and nouns. Let's give a short break to grammar portions. Today, we can start the poem The Shed in our textbook Honeycomb. It is written by the Australian poet Frank Flynn. You might have seen a shed. This is the picture of a shed. What is a shed? A shed is a small room basically used for keeping something or shelter for animals. It is a multi-purpose thing. Usually uh, sheds are made a little bit away from the house. In this poem, the poet describes a shed in his garden. The speaker of the poem is the poet himself. It is a childhood memory of the poet. In this poem, we can discuss the location, the ambience and the mystery behind the shed. Let's read the poem now. The Shed There is a shed at the bottom of our garden with a spider's web hanging across the door. The hinges are rusty and creak in the wind. When I am in bed, I lie and I listen. I'll open that door one day. There is a dusty old window around at the side with three cracked panes of glass. I often think there is someone staring at me each time that I pass. I'll peep through that window one day. My brother says there is a ghost in the shed who hides under the rotten floorboards and if I ever dare to set foot inside, he'll jump out and chop off my head. But I'll take a peek one day. I know that there isn't really a ghost. My brother tells lies to keep the shed for his den. There isn't anyone staring or making strange noises and the spider has been gone from his web. Since I don't know when, I'll go into that shed one day soon, but not just yet. Let's discuss the first stanza. In these lines, the poet describes a shed that is at the bottom of his garden. There is a shed at the bottom of our garden. A spider's web is hanging across the door. It shows that hardly anybody goes inside the shed. That's why there is the spider's web. If the door opens frequently, the spider's web will not be there. The hinges or the door joints, hinges means door joints, have become rusty and make a creaking sound whenever the wind makes them move. This is the creaking of hinges. Let's listen. When the poet peacefully lying in his bed, he sometimes hear noises from the shed. What is the sound? This creaking of the rusty hinges. And he wishes to open the door of the shed one day. That is the first stanza. Let us discuss the second stanza. At the side of the shed, there is a dusty old window. And uh, the three glass panes of that window are broken. Whenever the poet passes the shed, he gets the feeling that someone is staring at him. Sometimes oh, we also have the same feeling. That means when we pass nearby an isolated home or a lonely place, we may also think that someone is staring at us. Same thing happened here also. He wishes to peep through that window one day to find out the person who is staring at him. Till now, he didn't enter into the shed, but he decides to go into the shed one day. That's all for today. We can discuss the rest of the poem in the next class. A YouTube URL is attached. Watch the video. A test paper is included. Submit your answers as soon as possible. 
the answer key of the previous test is added. Check your answers. I have attached the poem in the text. Read the poem. We can meet in the next class. Thank you.